Hello, how to solve 3 to the power of root t equals 9 to the power of t. We are solving for all values of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, this is our left hand side, and this is the right hand side. So, the first step will be to ensure that the base here is the same as the base here. And don't forget the fact that 9 is a perfect square, which is 3 times 3. And that means it is 3 to the power of 2. So for us to equalize the two bases, we are going to replace this 9 here with 3 power 2. So we have 3 to the power of square root of t equals 9, which is 3 to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of t. Now, if you have a to the power of n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So by applying this identity right here, we are going to multiply this exponent and we are going to have 3 to the power of root t equals 3 to the power of 2 times t, that is 2t. So right now, if you consider the left-hand side and the right-hand side, the two bases are now the same. So when the two bases are the same, there's something we are going to do. Based on this identity, if you have a to the power of b, and this equals a to the power of c, when the two bases are equal, you equate the exponents. So you are going to have b equals c. That is exactly what we are going to do here. Because the base at the left hand side is the same as the base at the right hand side. So we are going to equate these exponents. So what we have here is square root of t equals 2 times t. Now, remember we are solving for t and there is a square root here. So for us to eliminate the square root, we are going to take the squares of both part of this equation. So the square of this square root of t will give us t. Now, this is how it works. If you have square root of a, this is the same thing as having a to the power of 1 over 2. So if you now take the squares, of this, it means you are going to have this 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2. And since you are going to multiply these two exponents, this will likely give you a power 2 times 1, that is 2 over 2, which is a, because 2 over 2 is 1. So that's exactly what will happen here. So that is why sometimes I will say that the square root here counts with the square here. So what we are going to have left here is just t. And this equals for this, we are going to distribute this power to each of the terms here. For instance, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So you distribute the power here to each of the terms. So you are going to have 2 to the power of 2 times t to the power of 2. So from here, you have t equals 2 to the power of 2 is 4 times t squared. So 4 times t squared is 4 t squared. So what we are going to have is t equals 4 t squared. So the next step will be for us to move this t over here. It becomes negative t. So we are going to have 4 t squared minus t equals zero. And right now, what we are going to do will be to factor out t. So I have t times this 40 squared divided by t. This is 40. Then I bring out the minus t divided by t. This is one. And this equals zero. So we can formulate two different equations. I can have t equals zero or 
40 minus 1 equals 0. Now this is solved already. Now for 40 minus 1 equals 0, what I'm going to do is to move this negative one over here. I have 40 equals positive 1. So I'm trying to isolate this t. I'm going to divide this by 4. I'm dividing this by 4. So the 4 here will eliminate the 4 here. So I have my t equals 1 over 4. So this equation is giving us two solutions. Now, the next step will be for me to insert those two solutions back into this question. And let's check if it's going to satisfy the equation. That means if the left-hand side will be the same as the right-hand side. That's what I'm going to do now. So let's write down the solutions. We have t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 4. So I recopy the problem, 3 to the power of root t equals 9 to the power of t. So let's start with 0. I'm going to have 3 to the power of square root of 0 equals 9 to the power of 0. And the square root of 0 is 0. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of 0 equals 9 to the power of 0 and any number or alphabet raised to the power of 0 exception of 0 itself exception of 0 itself is 1 so 3 power 0 is 1 and 9 power 0 is 1 this is the only exception that means 0 power 0 is not 1 every other thing raised to the power of 0 is 1 okay that means 0 has satisfied the equation because this left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. Now let's consider 1 over 4. This one now. So I'm going to still recopy the problem. I have 3 to the power of root t equals 9 to the power of t. I substitute 1 over 4 for t. I have 3 power square root of 1 over 4 equals 9 power 1 over 4. Now, if I have square root of a over b, this is like writing square root of a separately divided by square root of b. So this is what I'm going to use right here. So that means I'm going to have square root of 1 separately divided by square root of 4. And square root of 1 is 1 divided by square root of 4 is 2. So I'm going to simply have 3 to the power of square root of 1, 1 divided by square root of 4, 2, and this equals 9 to the power of 1 over 4. Now, like I said earlier on, that 9 is a perfect square. So I can replace n with 3 power 2. I have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 equals 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 4. So from here, I go back to this same identity. If I have a power n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. Based on this, I'm going to multiply this exponent. I'm going to have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 equals 3 to the power of 2 times 1. That is 2 over 4 by multiplying this out. So from here, I'm going to have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 equals 3 to the power of 2 can cancel itself once, cancel 4, 2. I have 1 over 2. Now I can further simplify this. Remember, if I have a to the power of n divided by n, this equals the m root of a to the power of n. So that means 3 power 1 over 2 is the same thing as writing. The square root of 3 to the power of 1, because the square root is represented using this. And this equals the same thing as the square root of 3 to the power of 1. 
and from here I have 3 power 1 is 3, so I have square root of 3 equals square root of 3. So right now, the left hand side is the same as the right hand side. So this is correct. Now that is it. The two solutions have proven to be correct and thank you.